If you look on the right here, we have press X for daily challenge. Now, normally I'm not huge on daily challenges, um, but to unlock a few very good items, we gotta play some. Now you'll notice that it's grayed out right now. The reason being, we have mods. You cannot have mods on daily challenges. So, we're gonna have to turn them off just for now. So we won't have this nice external item descriptions and all that stuff, but that's what we gotta do. <laughs> that's how we gotta do it. So what we're gonna have to do is do, Ooh, hold on. I love Bethany, so good. What we're gonna have to do here is we need to basically beat five daily challenges in a row in order to unlock one of the really good items. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't mess with one of my, my settings here. Okay. So yeah, we're basically just gonna have to sit here, try to beat the challenge as best we can. Um, we're not really looking for this guy. This is a an active item and our book is... Well, I guess our book... So if you haven't played Bethany before, it's been a while, so it's, <laughs> I'm a little, a little rusty on it, but... Essentially how it works is you can get an active item and stack it on top of your book. So every time you use your active item, then it gives you a wisp, a little guy that shoots stuff, and it gives you some percentage, I don't know, some little ability that's kind of vaguely similar to whatever item you were using. Man, I don't know why I'm getting hit here. I will say, these guys are a bit of a pain, so... <laughs> It's not just that I'm doing poorly. Okay. I'm actually going to not use my wisp right here. I want to save this item for next for the boss room. There we go. And then we'll just keep spamming away. You know how it is. Hopefully I can do better on this little little poop guy than I did on the last video yesterday. Because <laughs> that one was uh, a little embarrassing, perhaps. But yeah, we sh we're looking pretty good here. Realistically, look, if you're playing safe, you shouldn't be shooting him while he's charging. Ooh, damage and luck up. That's huge. If you shoot him while he's charging you, um, it can like push his trajectory a little bit and cause you to get hit. I'm impatient, so I tend to do it anyways, but you really shouldn't, you know, if we're being sticklers here. Oh, I'm so glad we still got the angel room. I was a little worried when we got hit earlier. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Not a very good item. Um, all right. Considering it's a daily challenge, I think we should go back clear out the rest of the room, see if we can get any more consumables, any more gold. We really gotta make sure we're going ham here. Because the thing with daily challenge, you get one shot and that's it. So if you screw it up, tough luck. So for that reason and that reason alone, I wanna make sure that we really give it our best Make sure that we're getting as much as possible and giving us ourselves the best chance of winning. Otherwise, we're just pushing back the unlock of this really good item for like way later. Um, Dog Tooth is actually pretty good. I actually kind of like it better that this way, without the light bulbs. I feel like I, I don't feel bad using it. You know, using my active item. And we do have a heart in the boss room, so we might as well do this. And then, yeah, so here's what that little angel room item does. If you get hit, it drops this little holy poop. And if you're in this light range, you get to shoot really fast and deal a bunch of damage. So it's like, it can be good, but usually not. Ooh, hold on. We hear a, a wolf call. Did we hear it over here? We did, okay. It's right in here. So whenever you hear that howl, you can basically guarantee that there's either a secret room, usually will be a secret room, or on the rare occasion there may be 
On the rare occasion, <laughs> sorry, the dog's being weird. There may be like a trap room or something. But I think there's a bark, I want to say, instead of a howl if it's a trap room. That sounds right to me. Like a trap door is what I mean by trap room. All right, you know what? Let's go in here, check it out. Just kidding. <laughs> we don't have any bombs. Okay. The chariot. Could be pretty good. I'm realizing now we actually did end up getting enough coins where we probably could have gone back to that shop and tried to get some active item synergies. It kind of is what it is, but that might. If you're playing this, you know, check it out. See if you can do that. If you're also playing this daily run. Um, so we need to get a key so we can go into that room. And assuming we can find a key, we should be in a pretty good spot here. We have a ton of money. Relatively speaking, that is. And yeah, key here, just make sure you're keeping a good distance. Don't want to accidentally get hit and ruin your angel room chance. So Bethany is great, right? Because you can, even though you can't use your soul hearts, they turn into charges on your item up there. Um, you get this really good active item that gives you just insane DPS, whether or not you have good stats. So it's a really solid item. Generally just super good. Okay. 48 hour energy. We're going to hold off. Hopefully we can find a really good active item. And then we'll come back for the 48 hour energy. This is looking like it's going to be a pretty easy dub. <laughs> so far at least. You know, knock on wood I guess. But never understood the whole knock on wood thing. Like, what is that supposed to do for you? I don't know what knocking on... Like, where did that come from? Alright, maybe we'll get an active item here. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, hello. You know what, I'm just gonna use Chariot here. I wanna make sure that I don't get hit, and this guy is kinda dicey to dodge at points. We still didn't get it, that's unfortunate. I was really hoping we were gonna get the, the room. Okay, well we do have a key, so let's go, before we use these guys, let's go drop down here, check out the shop for a second. And we do here. Okay. We hear the wolf, so there's a secret room somewhere in there. Okay, that is an active item. <laughs> um, if we had the external items descriptions, it would tell us what it does with the book. But unfortunately we don't. I guess we just try it. So what this guy does is it turns your trinket into a permanent effect. So we can go here. Now all of a sudden we have Whatever this yellow gold wisp does. Um, we have that guy on our side now. <laughs> so I mean, that's, maybe that's good. I don't know. And then... Yeah, so let's just cook on back over here. I mean, I'd love... Hold on. No, it's not in here. I'd love to look for it. For the secret room. But we don't have that many bombs. And I'm a little worried, to be honest. Um... There, you know, you got the two by two room. There's a lot of options. It's also kind of hard for me to tell where the rooms line up if they're not directly across from another room. So for those reasons, I think we just save our bombs. Call it a day. I should have smelt it earlier. My bad. Okay. And then we deal with you. We got a pill. Always love getting the pills. Well, except for that one. Okay, so if we have enough keys, we've got some access to synergies here. 
Ignore that beeping there. Okay. Dodge this guy. That's another thing too, I don't think I mentioned. The wisps also count as like blockers. So you can... Holy, this is very good. We can get $15. Full send. They can act as like little like bodyguards of sorts. So if you're going to get hit by a projectile, you can just sacrifice your wisp instead. <laughs> Beautiful. See if we can get these guys cleared out here. Okay. Please stay away. Thank you. Okay, so we don't have a lot of money. I would like well actually let's let's clear this boss here. Because we haven't gotten hit yet and we don't have any soul heart protection. So I'd like to try to clear him without taking damage. Um and that didn't work. This boss is one of my least favorites. He's such a pain. It's not even like he's that good. It's just so easy to get hit by him. We did get a trinket though. Two trinkets actually. Got a damage and range up. That's pretty solid. So yeah, we're not going to get the angel room. That's, that's unfortunate, but so be it. It was worth a shot. Ooh, hear the the wolf howling. That was just bad on my part. So it's either gonna be here or it's gonna be here. Let's try this one. Just kidding. Is this one? Ooh, hello. Infinite keys. Don't mind if I do. All right, so I know there's no map, so it's gonna kind of suck to backtrack here, but I do think it's worth it. Even if just so we can get some more money and consumables and you know, all that stuff. Again, we're trying to make it so we have as many, as many potentials for winning as possible. For one hit, I think we take all the, these coins here, because then we can have access to... Oh, I didn't realize you can pop that thing. You get gold? What the heck? <laughs> I played this entire Dead God file, and I didn't know that. Crazy. Alright, what does this do? Hermit. So it's an inverted hermit card. Which means something. I'm trying to remember what. Um, I think it gives you chests, I want to say. And there is a secret room. I believe, yeah, it's to our right here. So let's bomb here. See what we get. Nothing. <laughs> Quite literally nothing. And those are out of range of blowing up that guy. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get hit one more time. I think the spikes deal a full heart of damage, so let's just get hit by not spikes. Get hit here. Good. And now we're gonna go back here. Since we're at one heart, we're gonna open this door. All right, give me one second. I'm going to look up what the hermit question mark does. Okay. I was very wrong when I said the chess. It basically swaps everything in the room for whatever it's worth in gold, which is pretty good. Um, this, speaking of good, this item is very good. So hopefully we can get through these guys without taking much damage. We'll see though. We're playing it a little risky dropping down to one heart, but I think it'll be worth it. This guy's not too bad. 
He does kind of suck. When it's these like bullet hell bosses, they kind of suck with wisps on Bethany. Right, because all of your wisps just get nuked even if you don't get, weren't going to get hit. Just because it's so close quarters. But aside from that, easy enough. Alright, um, bad gas, who cares? We can keep the hermit. If we get a room just full of a bunch of garbage that we don't care about, it could be good. Okay, that that penny is lost. <laughs> it's gone forever. It's in here. Backstab is huge. Can deal extra bleed damage. Ooh, okay. Um, we do not have nearly enough hearts to be doing this. We have one bomb if we want to get some of these guys. Let's try these little consumable bags because usually they have bombs. Not those bombs. <laughs> Alright, um, can't do a whole lot over here. Maybe we just blow these guys up. I'll give you some money. Since there wasn't a whole lot in the shop, well, that didn't help. And yeah, let's just blow you up. The reason we're not blowing up this guy is because he just doesn't give you anything when you blow him up. He's a little stingy like that. Um, so apparently we can break this thing and sometimes get stuff. The more you know. I had no idea that was a thing until just now. Alrighty. So let's grab this heart here go back see did we want anything here oh we did okay yeah we can get this guy again it's not not gonna do a whole lot for us immediately but not bad all right just kidding <laughs> we're going back queen of hearts is very good it summons just a whole bunch of hearts in the in the room so we're actually gonna go back here and Give give hearts to these blood donation machines and beggars and all that stuff Depending on how many hearts we actually get that is All right Let's make it happen Um, So this one I believe you can pay health for For different consumables in the devil room something like that Something weird, like, like, in the devil, um, the devil room after a boss kind of idea. Get the blood bag. What about you? What do you got for us? Dang, everything just died immediately. <laughs> well, I'm glad we went back. Um, let's just use up all these, these hearts here. Get a whole bunch of coins. And yeah, a lot of these guys, um, you're not going to really recognize a lot of the items and stuff. Because the, the interesting thing about these daily runs is you effectively have everything in the game unlocked for the purpose of the daily run. Which is kind of cool. I think it's a fun way to do it. Um, but, you know, similarly, you don't really know what any of it does and you can't use mods to tell you. So, if you haven't played the game already... It can get a little confusing. Is there anything else we want here? Now that we have like infinite money. Yeah, here, this is what it is. So instead of paying for stuff, you can just hurt yourself and get items for quote unquote free. Now, unfortunately, we now have a ton of money, so we don't actually want to do that. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. Could be good in the future, maybe. I don't know. The dank depths. Look at that. Keep an eye on these guys. Cool, cool. Ooh. Not ideal. But yeah, right now... We've got a whole bunch of wisps, obviously, due to the IV bag. 
So right now we're basically just trying to more or less speed run through, trying to find some some new areas, all that stuff. Is, did I miss the howl in this room? Yes, I did. Okay. Talking too much. All right, what do we got in here? Nothing? Well, interestingly enough, ooh, we can do this. You can move these dark red ones, so you can actually get it in range to blow up the, the guy. It didn't really do anything for us, but <laughs> you can. It's a thing that can be done. Sometimes to great effect. Cool. I've never actually seen that effect with that specific, like, worm looking dude. Because normally you can't break just part of him, he all dies at once. But I guess if you freeze his head, then he forms a new head, apparently. Ooh, okay, so yeah, you have to pay... <laughs> I don't like this anymore. I would much rather be using my money. Um, okay. Well, we don't want anything in here right now. And I don't think the hermit question mark thing actually works for this. I guess we have one heart, so we can... We can get something. We get a golden bomb. Interesting. And a little extra money. So I don't know if there's actually any way to spend our money anymore. Which is potentially going to be an issue. We'll see. Another heart. Oh, that's a lot of bombs. We'd have to use both of our keys, which I'm a little hesitant to full send. Oh boy, get him out of here. Dodge, dodge. These guys are so hard to see. The little like shadows is all you get, which like on these floors when there's everybody jumping around can be very tough to keep an eye on. Algiz. Don't know what that does. Let's go in here. Oh baby, quad shot. That's huge. So now we get quad shot. We get lower attack speed by I think half, but we get quad shot. So we'll take it. Because, you know, a, a quick little math will tell you. Multiply by four and divide by two is still multiply by two. Which seems very good. And it is very good. Yeah, I'm just gonna use Algiz because I don't know what it does. I see, okay. So that's the one that gives you invincibility for, I think, 20 seconds. Would have been nice here, huh? <laughs> well, I guess it wouldn't have. All right, cool. So now we'll go back if we need to. I don't think we're going to need to. So this guy, hopefully I can remember how to beat him. When you have this much damage, you kind of just beat him by default. <laughs> the goal is generally just beat him quick enough so he doesn't attack you. We got Lazarus Rag, so he... I guess we get an extra heart, which isn't bad. Or an extra life, I should say. So, you know, for what that's worth. I think we go here, we grab this heart. I'm down to go... try out this room. Maybe we'll get an extra... extra couple keys or something. No, we did not. We actually got the opposite. We got bombs and had to pay a key. And these, these black skeleton guys are like gunpowder, so they like blow up on you. Not ideal. Not typically what we're hoping to see. Alright. Blow this up, just see if there's anything interesting. Nope. And we're moving along. I mean, so far so good. I'm an, I wish I wouldn't have picked up that one devil item. That makes you have to pay for things in the shop with your health instead of money. Is you know, we have too much money now, not enough health. 
And now we have an incentive to not take damage because as you can see in the top left, we have eternal hearts due to one of our trinkets that we consumed. What do you got for me? Nothing? Thanks. I feel like for how long this takes, you should really get more reward from him. Not just a one in three to get a consumable. Which feels like much less than a one in three. Hey, we got some coins. Exactly what I was hoping for. I mean, realistically, this is a nice bank of health that we can work with. And then if we get to the end and realize we don't need it, we could always just hermit. Yeah, so bad. I'm <laughs> so bad. All right, give me one back. Dude, I don't know why I can't just walk in a straight line today. Go here. I think it might be the movement speed. I'm not used to having almost max movement speed. Okay, so we're gonna make sure we don't blow up you. We wanna feed you some bombs. Ooh. I don't know what that was that we just got, but it made a fun sound. Cool. We have a lot of heart. Always a good sign. What is this? Luck up? Okay. You can work with that. There's a lot of opportunities to get rid of your health, <laughs> which is a little scary, I think. A lot of opportunities to get coins, which we don't need because we can't spend them on anything. But I guess we could go back here. Maybe this is what we'll do. Yeah, we don't have any bombs, so let's try to... How many times am I going to do that? Too many. That's the answer. Let's see if we can get some bombs out of this thing. Or maybe this guy, if he's nice. Which he's not going to be. And just more keys. More hearth. Definitely don't need more heart. <laughs> Dude, this is painful. There we go, we got some bombs. The things you do when you run out of bombs, huh? Alright, so... We have some extra hearts. Ooh, hello. Little golden heart. So let's bomb here. We can get into the seeker room. That's a little underwhelming. A key. Don't mind if I do. We haven't really found many good active items, unfortunately. That's really all we're missing in this run right now. The smelter is okay, but not great. Let's just do our round, see if we can find any more bombs, any more good active items. Probably not, but you know, you gotta, you gotta check. This one gives you some more soul hearts, I wanna say. Something like that. Or it gives you a higher chance for soul hearts, I mean. So if we un if we grab this golden thing, we can unlock the secret shop. But then I think we still have to pay more health for the secret shop. I think we just send it. Didn't do it again. I almost did. I almost did it again. Okay, so let's blow up this. Since we have a lot of extra hearts lying around, let's see if we can get anything from this guy. I 
can't see anything. Vision. Okay, now I have to go back through here so we can replenish our health. Speed up. Not really what I need right now. I appreciate it, but... Alright, anything here, extra hearts wouldn't be bad. Obviously we're not going to get them. <laughs> we got keys, which we don't need. Why do you keep even trying to give me keys? What the heck? This guy's trying to pawn off all his keys on me. We got more bombs, which is pretty good. All right, there we go. So we got the item. If you use it enough times, you have a chance to get an item from him. In this case, the item is, you know, not the best, but not terrible. So we know it's going to be here for the secret room because he can't have adjacent secret room to a super secret room. So we can use that to our advantage. Cool. Got an extra bomb there. Give him a couple. Three. One heart. Not even. A half heart. <laughs> Great. What do you do? Feels like I'm walking oh. on sunshine. And 48 hour energy. I waited too long. Um, let's use it here, I guess. Ooh, gotta retrieve our guy here. Alright. Replenish our hearts a little bit, and then let's just... Let's get out of here. This might be the end, I'm not sure. If it is, we're, we're good. If it goes much longer, then we're gonna have to... <laughs> We're gonna have to keep playing cautiously. Ooh, we got another trinket drop over here. Flat file, no more spikes. Sounds nice enough, I guess. Okay, this is the end. That's very nice. I did not enjoy this build very much. <laughs> so I'm glad we got our first daily win. Love to see it. So we need to get three daily, no, five daily wins in a row. And then the rest is just like participate in 31 dailies or whatever. So we can do that throughout, but I want to get this one done early. So I don't have to worry about dailies anymore. But there we go. We are ranked 810th. Not too bad. I wish it said out of however many. You know, you get 810 out of 811. <laughs> Probably. I feel like we took forever. We got a big time penalty there. But hey, good start. Love to see it. Four more to go. Let's keep it going. See you on the next one.